and we're back. My name is Death Dragon 95 and I have for you guys the second Double Masters box. Um, after, I don't know how long, a couple of weeks, like, I don't know, but it's been a while um, since Double Masters has actually released. Um, and I finally got to pick this up today. So, I said to you guys in the last box opening video, I said I would tell you guys how much the total of the last box added up to. Um, it was around about uh, 500 and something US. Um, just going back and having a look. I don't know, I must have, um, I must have, uh, got rid of it somewhere. But, yeah, um, regardless of the point, it was, uh, still over a good 500 and, uh, something US. Um, so, I made my money back on the box opening regardless. Um, so, it's pretty good. So, again, like last time, just gonna do openings and yeah. So, I've been excited in to get uh, this, get this again, because uh, I really, really enjoyed the um, box, this uh, type of stuff. I really enjoy it, it's really nice. So long to get this again. Such a fun product. That was pretty good. Hmm, my first foil row. It's um, at least a better foil rare than my last box. So in my next uh, video, whenever that is, um, I'll probably end up doing a um, video of a deck tech of mine. Huh, doubling season. Beautiful, beautiful mythic. Um, yeah, I'll be doing a um, video on one of my decks or something. Um, and when I do, uh, after I've tallied up the value of this, Oh, as the recording of this video, I'll um, end up letting you guys know. Letting you guys know how much I cracked in total. Now, when I say that I made my money, um, I mean as in that I cracked um, and got an amount. It's my second foil, my second mythic, um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit, uh, sick today, so probably just gonna try and not speak too much. <clears throat> but, yeah, um, like I said, pretty much, um, I'll, uh, after I've, uh, added it all up, I'll, uh, I'll end up telling what that price was in my next video, um, based on the recording of this video, as in, like, the last, the last amount that was based off of the recording of that video. Scarab God. Nice. Three mythics. Well, at least the foil rares are better this time. Would be nice to pull 
some more foil rares instead of just the typical um, at least two. Um, and hopefully maybe even pull a foil mythic. That would be nice. I actually need one of these, which is nice. So majority of this stuff I'll um, be selling because I don't actually need it. Um, but yeah. I'm also like to grab this, I'm more like to, uh, it was more the point of I wanted to grab this stuff to, um, to pretty much open and hopefully pull some stuff that I need, because there's a lot of stuff in this uh, set that I do need, um, but like, it's very, very few that I actually pull of it, so, like, but if I do end up pulling stuff that I need, I, I do use it, um, but other than that, I pretty much just sell off everything um, through auctions or trade it off and stuff like that to get stuff that I actually need for um, my huge amount of uh, decks that I have. I'm actually really glad about this copy token. That's pretty good because I don't think uh, there's been any copy tokens apart from um, in the Demir uh, Guild Kit. I think they did copy tokens in that. But other than that, I don't think there's actually been any copy tokens. Quarter Calling, very nice. Conjurer's Closet. Now we're halfway through the box. Alrighty, now do the box topper. I'd like to hopefully hit Mythic in this box topper. Because I only got rares last time. Toxic Deluge, really good. And a Sword of Feast and Famine. Okay, that I am happy about. Brilliant box toppers. They will uh, fetch a pretty penny. Because majority of the box toppers I'm after, I'm after in foil, so... Um, I pretty much just go out of my way to buy those box toppers if I need them. And I've pretty much already got all the box toppers I've needed in foil, so I don't really need any box toppers anymore. Goblin Guide, I can remember when that card was like a $20 card. Well, obviously, Burn doesn't see much play um, anymore in Modern, but Burn was my favourite deck in Modern um, when I played it. Riku, nice. Oh, Cyclonic Rift. Been needing a second one of those. So yeah, I know I could have done better on the um, video editing and stuff like put some music in over top and um, all that type of thing, um, but the only reason I haven't, oh, can nice, um, yeah, because my laptop's been shitting itself lately, so it's not the greatest thing to use at this point in time. So, um, sorry about that, but I do need to get a new laptop. Um, hopefully I do get one at some point. Um, I recently just, uh, managed to get my Xbox One back off of my mate that I was lending it to. Um, 
and I've still got my Elgato, so maybe at some point I may um, end up getting around to doing some gaming again, because originally this is what this channel was. Um, but, you know, a lot of the time I've just been focused on magic, because uh, it's a nice pastime, just building decks and um, stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Rotation is always a nice card to get. Thoughtsies. Ooh, that's a really expensive, well, not an expensive foil, but it's at least a good five, six US. So we'll at least fetch maybe 10, 10, 11 bucks. And that's always nice. Lightning Grooves, always good to pull Lightning Grooves. Another Mythic, nice. I want to see another Foil Rare or Mythic. That would make me happy. So yeah, like I said, that last box, uh, that cost me a total of 100, uh, 420 um, Australian, and um, I ended up um, getting rid of most of it, um, and it, it all fetched me probably around about maybe a good, I don't know, 480, 90 bucks maybe after moving all the stuff that I didn't use. So that's that's nice. Last transmitter, need my own. But yeah, like I said, the value that I opened, um, because the way that I do it is based on the fact of each card that's worth over a dollar. So anything that's a dollar and under, I do not count into my price zoom. Um, so anything over a dollar, I will count. And yeah, that's where I got the figure of, um, like I said, about $540 something. Endless Atlas. Alright, can I hit in my last pack at least one more mythic or one more foil or um, rare or mythic? That would make me happy. Okay, Vish Carl, Rexy Metamorph, Frogify. And puzzle bonds. Okay. So that wasn't too too bad. Got a few nice hits. Um just wanna double check the mythics in here. Oh, so, total of mythics, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mythics. So that's not um, too shabby. Um, so yeah, pretty much I'll be getting rid of all of this because uh, I do not need any of them. Um, and at least these foil rares are better than the last. Um, and I'll be moving those as well because I do not need them. Uh, and I'll be moving majority of this. Um, but yeah, this will fetch me a nice price. So yeah, uh, overall, neat little box. Um, can't really um, guess how much overall it will be, but um, I think I've made my money. So um, anyway, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.